Imagine if every time you stood up, you got a sharp shooting pain going through your foot. That's what millions of people experience every single day when they have a neuroma. Well, how do you avoid it and how do you stop it? That's the question today in Bottom Line's conversation with the experts. I'm Sarah Heiner, president of Bottom Line Publications, and today I'm talking to Dr. Johanna Yoner, a leading podiatrist and foot surgeon in private practice in New York. Well, welcome, Dr. Yoner. Thank you, Sarah. It's great to be here. Let's define what a neuroma is and why these people are suffering from shooting pain. Okay, a neuroma is a thickening of nerve tissue in the foot. And you can see on this slide, between fourth and the third toe is a classic Morton's neuroma. It is a nerve that is always there, but because of shoes, squashing the forefoot, the nerve thickens and creates a very painful situation, sometimes scarring. So this is something that I'll call it is man-made. We're yes. doing it to ourselves with shoes. Absolutely. And are they, is a neuroma dangerous? A neuroma is not dangerous, but it can really impact your life and your walking. So by that, it can affect your life. It needs to be treated. Left untreated, will it get worse? Left untreated, it'll get worse until you need treatment. And treatment may go from in different injection therapies to actually removing remo the neuroma. And once you get one, are you prone to it? No. So it's just once. So what happens after, if you surgically remove it, now you don't have nerves there? You can get numbness at the area where they took out the neuroma. Some people, it, you can get what's called an amputation neuroma, meaning a neuroma can start where the nerve was cut. These are not average things, these are complications. So we just kind of ran ahead talking about surgery. So let's talk about what the treatment options are for neuromas. The very first treatment is to pad the foot or the shoe to separate the bones that are pressing on the nerve tissue. So am I putting a pad in my shoe? Should I just change my shoes and keep those pretty high heels off for a bit? Pretty high heels off. Put a pad under where the bones are that are affecting. Your doctor can direct you exactly where the problem is. You may feel pain in your toes, but the problem is actually inside your foot. Okay. And then, okay, so pad my shoes. Number, second option is? Wider shoes. Wider shoes. Absolutely, that's the number one treatment, is wider shoes. Do men and women get neuromas? Yes, men do. Yeah. And men, especially men who are in industries that they have to wear dress shoes get neuromas. So it's, on, it's not just a women's pretty shoes. It's men's pretty shoes as well, and they're much more unforgiving. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to the treatments because I'm bouncing around. Uh, all right, so we had, what about radiofrequency treatment? There are different treatments now for nerves, and one of the treatments is with a radiofrequency. It is a computer-generated signal through a needle. It can be done very simply on an outpatient scale. It is a needle into the neuroma, and it stuns the neuroma, and it can eradicate the pain without any invasive treatment. It's amazing. Assuming the shoes doesn't work, assuming the changing the shoes and the padding doesn't work, next step that they really do need some treatment, is that your top pick? No, that's more invasive. My first treatment is injection. Depending on how the neuroma is, is it an inflamed neuroma? If it's inflamed, I will give a steroid injection. If it's just a thickened neuroma, I can use what's called a sclerosing injection. So the sclerosing injection literally shrinks the neuroma with sclerosing solution. Okay, and then you mentioned surgery. The surgical, the more interventional techniques, radiofrequency the computer-generated signal on a needle into the neuroma can be very effective. And there is also removing the neuroma, doing foot surgery, opening up the foot, removing the neuroma. What are the odds, because I don't like surgery and I don't like needles, if I get a neuroma and I'm very diligent about changing my shoes and padding my shoes, that I can cure it on my own? Curing it, it's not a curable problem. The neuroma will stay there. As long as you stop the pain, it can stay there for the rest of your life without a problem. If you have pain, it needs to be addressed. So you have a neuroma and it's not necessarily painful? Absolutely. So it passes a threshold of pain? If you have a, an inflamed neuroma, it may calm down simply by taking a leave or Advil and calming the inflammation down. If the neuroma has grown so large that you are unable to put on a pair of closed shoes, it needs to be addressed. So once again, as usual, pain is actually in some ways, the guide on it. It could be perfectly fine. I may or may not even know I have it. As long as I'm not in pain, doesn't really matter. Exactly. Cool. And prevention? Wider shoes, no pointy shoes, and make sure as we age and our feet change and grow, 
we go up a half size. All right, well, thank you, Dr. Yoner. The bottom line on neuromas, once again, we are inflicting our own pain on ourselves. So if you wear shoes that give your toes enough room and shoes that have enough padding, you shouldn't have any problem. If you start to get some foot pain, again, change your shoes, and if the pain doesn't go away, to the podiatrist you go. This is Sarah Heiner with Bottom Line.